Okay. I'm ready. Oh my to God! Dig look in. at these. Are these done? Those are done. Ted, my oh, plate's oh, oh, There you go, sir. Mm. Wow! Look at those bacon wrapped dates. Marissa, look. There's your hot dog. I know. I am coming. I saw Get you on earlier over in the kitchen, and I was low key jealous. I, I couldn't so. help it. I'm already halfway done. I was looking at Matt <laughs> exactly. on what the city cam, and we were laughing. You, you've been. <laughs> we were over there talking to Kess, and you were mm. going in. I was having mm. a moment over here. This is delicious. And talk to me about these bacon wrapped dates. Is that butter, melted butter you're spreading so, on top? No, this oh. is actually some local honey with Ooh, some bourbon. Like local oh, honey. Wow. I like the way you said that, local honey. Mm. That's how you say it when tailgate Ted makes it. <laughs> <laughs> that smells mm. amazing. So those are dates baked, roasted in the oven at 375 with goat cheese stuffed inside. And look at that crispy bacon. You got to get that bacon nice and crispy. Mm. And then the glaze makes it. Not gonna lie, I made these last night for Mrs. Tailgate, talking about flirting and doing some mm -hmm. stuff for your spouse. Okay. Figured I'm gonna cook for you all, I had to cook for her. The ones without the glaze, not eh, as good. Wasn't a fan. Had to get that glaze, maybe because of the bourbon, right. but definitely a huge fan of it. Mm. And up in front, we've got the carrots, we got the pepitas, mm. some pistachios. Mm. The carrots, super easy to roast in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then I actually finished it off with a little bit of the glaze as well. Nice. How long did you allow those to stay in the oven? Because I can never get mine to be tender. So I did it 425. Uh -huh. Typically mm -hmm. you want it 20, 25 minutes. But really it's it's about looking at it. Because if you just okay. take them out of the fridge and you don't let it get to room temp, mm. then it's going to take longer. Gotcha. And those are in my cooler for me to get here. <laughs> Big freezer pack. Definitely had to let those things stay in there longer. Mm. Good sides. And let's talk about some home chef hacks for our viewers out there who want to maybe up their tailgate game even if you're just at home watching the one o'clock game on sunday what are some things you can do if you're hosting for a football game for me if i'm having you all at my house yeah and you guys gotta let me know for an away game i try and do everything boneless mm. as easy as possible oh. to clean up so Smart. i don't like serving just regular chicken or drumsticks things like that because it's more of a mess and it's me having to take the trash out i see oh so you're hard. not a wing guy no, not really. Okay. I mean, we're making wings this weekend, some Clip Cardinals so wings. So you're out, I love that's different. Some yeah, but if I'm at home, too. I want people to not have to feel like they have to have utensils to eat. So Got finger it. foods. Finger foods, but stuff like, you know, that transports. Yeah, they can carry around while ah. you're socializing, watching the game. Exactly. A nice... Beer's good, That's too. That's an amazing pro mm -hmm. tip. I'm over here having you know a mind-blowing hey, emoji moment. Before we wrap up, I'm looking forward to the Filipino adobo because, of course, I'm Filipino as well. Mm. So the adobo chicken... Definitely looking forward to that. So like I said earlier, we're doing just an all chicken menu because that's what Sam eats. So we're uh -huh. doing a Filipino adobo chicken wow. with a garlic fried rice. Oh my God. I'm Filipino, so I had to bring it back to my heritage and try to bring this to the masses. We've got 400, 500 people coming out. So hoping they get a chance to experience some Filipino food because there are some Bring great some lupia ones. as well. Mm, He's like, lupia. I want to come. I want to <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be an exciting game. It's a great time. And it, the whole season, mm. it just feels so good to be it's able to different. celebrate. It, it is. It's very it's different. different. Mm -hmm. And I think Tucker said it best earlier. He said that even in, in past seasons, you would have to drum up the excitement. Mm -hmm. But this time, it just feels easy and natural. Mm -hmm. Right. There were years when I renewed my season tickets, and I sat there there for a couple of minutes and said, why do you want to do this? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Now, just take my money. All I, right, I let's go. Let's go. All we got to do is get some sold out. There you go, right we there. Sold out. Beautiful life. <laughs>